Hello and welcome back to another video about articulate rise and its functions. Today we are going to talk about the process block and how to use it. To insert a process block, just as any block, there are two different ways you can do it. You can press the plus button that appears between any two blocks, select interactive tab on the left, and scroll until you see the process block and select the process block and here it is or you can scroll to the bottom of your course if you wish it to be near the bottom hit the all blocks button interactive and process and now it is at the bottom of the course to get started with a process block here's a few things you need to know the first thing you need to know is that the process block is not able to be edited in this view unlike other blocks like a text block where you can make changes as such in the course view in the process block you have to be within the edit view the edit button is at the top left hand corner of the block so by selecting that you enter into the edit setting before we get into the edit though let's just take a preview of our block so here we have an introduction and as we click through we see a step number a title an image and text. You can select the left and right buttons, arrows to navigate. And then at the end, you will have a summary page that has a start again button, which will take the learner back to the beginning. All right, let's get into editing. To edit your introduction, you can select either the header or the body text. I usually if I don't have an introduction, I will use this space to instruct the learner on how to get started. So I might say, select the start button to begin. And introduction might say, vocab words. Let's review our vocab words. You can also add an image to the introduction page by selecting the camera icon over here and selecting your own media or something from the Articulate Content Library. You can even embed something from the internet. Now this is fun. You can also record audio. So by selecting the microphone button, you can upload an audio file or record using Articulate. I highly recommend uploading your own file. I have not been able to have success with recording from Articulate. It seems to have a lot of bugs and just isn't the highest quality of recording. So if you do want to add vocal instructions, I highly, highly recommend using your own audio file recorded elsewhere. In when you do this, there will be a timeline with a play button located within this page. Um, I highly suggest having instructions for your learner to select the audio before selecting the start button because if they select the start button, it will automatically send them to the first page here and will skip over the audio. All right, let's look at our step one. So like I said, we're doing vocab words, so I don't want it to say step one. Well, I could add my vocab word here, my definition here. and an image that represents my vocabulary word. Um, I've also used this without a title or without body text. So as you saw before, the bolded words will be above the image and the body text will be below the image. So sometimes you might not want an image, so you can select edit, remove, and now these will be right next to each other and it'll be in a very small page. So let's add an image back in from the content library. Let's say words. Here we are. Let's do this. Now these here are the alignment of the picture. So you can align left, center, or right. In my opinion, the center alignment is looks the best for this block. You can also choose full width. I've never used that function. I don't think it really adds anything, but that is up to you. And again, 
here's your record audio button here. You will also see that you can delete a slide, a step slide from this top right corner here or from the left bar on the right. To add a step, you're going to want to go all the way to the bottom of the screen, bottom left, right here it says add a step. Now if I want to add it in between two and three, I need to be, or sorry, excuse me, one and two, add a step and it will enter in between or I can add a step after. Now let's say I wanted one above vocab word. There are three little lines on the very left hand side. If you hover over that, your mouse will change into a open hand. By dragging and moving it around, you can reorder your pages. All right, let's go over the summary. So the summary slide is great if you're using it for something where you want a summary at the end, but for the purposes of mine, I don't really want a summary. So you have two options. You can select the eyeball button here and hide it. You can reorganize it so it looks similar and still will have that um, start over again button. Um, so you can add an image and it will look similar to the pages with that start over button. You cannot delete the summary tab. You can only have it visible or not visible. So right now it's not visible, so it's disappeared. And now we have our steps. Let's take a look at our finished product by selecting the close button at the top right hand corner. So you see here there are three dots. If you want to change this, you need to go into the course settings on the home page, which you can find in another one of my videos. So now, here we are. Well, you know, I don't really like how it says step up here since it's vocab words. Yes, there is a way to change that. You cannot do that in the edit setting. It has to be in the settings button. So here I can have a couple of options. You can type in your label. So let me say vocab. It says vocab. Here's another trick that I've learned. So let's delete that and just add a single space with your space bar. Now it is just numbers. In the settings, you can also enable or disable the zoom to click on image. I'll show you what that looks like here. I recommend having the zoom to click on image. I believe it is helpful for students, but if you don't want that, you can disable that in the settings button. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening. I hope that this has answered any of your questions regarding process blocks.